the verse in the Quran, uh, Surah 49, 13. Allah created us as nations and tribes. Uh, and I was trying to understand the difference. I know you, I know you explained it before, but it, it didn't quite land for me all the way. What's the difference between nations and tribes, between Shauban and Kaba'ila? So there's a process for us to comprehend um, what Allah has revealed. And um, the, the uh, language in the Quran defines itself okay so it's no secret it's no uh, uh, secret knowledge or something uh, that um, represents the keys for us to understand these things and it's not it's not intended to be <clears throat> a hardship for us it's struggle but not a hardship um, is supposed to be um, direct for us. And this is what is meant by the Quran being clear, the clear book. And there are many other descriptions of the Quran in this um, uh, this reference. So, Kaba'ila um, refers to Kibla. And um, Shoulven refers to the prophet Shoaib. If we look at the um, uh, that which was the concern of the prophet Shoaib. What was his concern? How was he addressed? How did he address the problems, the troubles? Then we understand the nature of what is a nation or a tribe. And also, Kaba'ila, uh, the focus for um, the, the Qibla, the Qibla meaning what is our orientation? What should be our orientation? So. Um, what is the difference between, you know, many in many ways I've commented on this, all right? What is the difference between motherland and fatherland, okay? What is the difference between country and nation? Uh, what is the difference between, um, in the Quran I'm speaking of, all right? What is the difference between city and land? All these things refer to uh, ideas, concepts that are held in common, but also they, re they refer to something very dis uh, distinct. Uh, what direction does the society go by way of its intellectual and cultural leadership? What direction does the society go in connection with its recognition of its original, uh, the, the what direction does a society go in connection with its perception of man's human life's original purpose? One is a cultural consideration. The other is the, the, the necessary foundation for the direction of the moral conscience and its contribution in the life of society. One governs, uh, one is associated with how governments themselves dis are distinct from one another in different nations. And the other refers to what all of those governments in the interest of the direction of moral life, human life goes that they hold together in common. Kaba'ila refers to the direction for human society that is 
uh, bonded together in a common idea of recognition of human life and its value and its original purpose and direction. Shu'ab is referring to um, how peoples are distinct from one another and their special uh, designations and their unique troubles that or unique issues that form in them uh, as, a, as an awareness and are a foundation for their establishment as a culture distinct from another culture, all right? So Shu'ab represents an intellectual uh, astute, educated human life, human conscience, dealing with specific problems of his society and wanting to connect those specific problems with the universality for man as God intended for human society to go. That's Shu'ab consciousness. Kaba'ila is what all societies have in common that they have to deal with as an issue to address the problems that human nature present to the direction for society. This is Kaba'ila. All human communities have these components. All right, all of them, all human communities and the products of human, the, 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 how, as this dawns in the consciousness of the human individual, as this bears down on, on uh, how we conclude what problems we should address and how we should address those problems. That's not just something that exists within the African-American community. That's not something that just exists in the American community. That's not just something that exists in the West, it exists everywhere. Every every people is moved in this direction. So this is what it means that we have, Allah says, we have created you from a male and a female, and we have distinguished you in these tribes and nations. In your uniqueness, in your special circumstances, this process is working for you so that you will come to a common understanding, a common determination that the way in which you solve your issues, no matter what cultural life, no matter what intellectual tradition, no matter what uh, what uh, um, social tradition you belong to, that you have this commonality and the foundation for reaching the focus, reaching the correct focus is to acknowledge your inherent worth and dignity. So that should be your intellectual conclusion in your tribe. That should be your collective conclusion in your uh, nation. So uh, how does America deal with its or uh better 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 question um in what way does the american vision of human society accommodate accommodate the dignity of man in spite of or in view of its diversity all right shuaib is diversity Kaba'ila is unity. Unity of what? Common human identity. Shu'aib is every ethnic group, every social tradition, every intellectual tradition, every uh, positive, I'm talking about, positive intellectual, positive cultural tradition, positive movement in the life of, of uh, individuals in society with their particular ideas. America says, uh, from many, from many, one, right? Um, e pluribus unum, that's the language. From many, one. Shu'aib, many. 
Kabail uh, one. What is that? What, what's the movement toward what? 